So here we go then, on to our second semi-final of the weekend. The women's doubles decided. Well, one of them anyway. Confirmation of that result. The third seeds through against the six seeds from Korea. Matsutomo and Takahashi, 21-15 deciding game, 72 minutes of compelling action. A long, drawn-out three-game affair. What of this one? Turning our attention next to men's doubles. It's very much experience against youth in match two. Yesterday, Mohamed Hassan and Kendra Setiwan with sort of fierce resurgence from the fifth seeds. Hiroyuki Endo and Yuta Watanabe in the quarterfinals. They came through 21-15, 9, 21-22, in 63 minutes. This one from the bottom half of the draw. But uh, in doing so, keeping home fans happy with hopes of an all-Indonesian men's doubles final alive because the top seeds are still afloat at the top of the draw. We'll be bringing you that one as well. That'll be our fourth semi-final today. But for the time being, we're right down the bottom watching that Asan Setiawan against the uh, unseeded duo from Japan who downed Alfian and Artianto, the six seeds from Indonesia, yesterday. So Asan and Setiawan will want to avenge that defeat in favour of their uh, compatriots. They've been giant killers so far, the Japanese. They've taken out Kimura and Tsunoda en route, the second seeds prior to that as well. Here they come. Sakuro Hoki. And Hugo Kobayashi. World number 15s off a career high ranking, these two. Well, it always raises the roof, doesn't it? The reception when these two walk on court. 31 and 35 year old lead the way out. Mohamed Hassan, Hendra Setiawan, what a team they are. And they have treated their fans to some spectacular moments in this Historia Stadium over the years. And they've got their work cut out today because the Japanese are giant killers here, taking up Kimura and Sonoda a couple of days ago, and then Alfian and Alzianto yesterday. So Mohamed Hassan electing the side that they want to start on. They want the far side. And he gets to serve as well to get us underway against this Japanese pairing that have been on fire to get here. Thirty-one years old, currently ranked fourth in the world. Need no introduction, do they? Really? They were number ones in the world back uh, five years ago, August 2014, alongside his dear partner, well, dear friend as well, Hendra Setiawan. They won the New Zealand Open this year, the All England Open as well. On three and a half legs, Hendra Setiawan here had a strained calf. He was limping around in. The semi-final, how did they get through that final? I'll never know. 34 years old, beg your pardon, not 35. From uh, Pamelang as well, as is his opponent. And of course, they're twice world champions, aren't they? 2013 and 15, the Indonesians. And this has been their route through. Tough one yesterday against Endo and Watanabe. Really had to dig deep to turn that one around. There was some brilliant moments within it. But for me, it was the most exciting match of the day. 
just over an hour it took. And prior to that, relatively untroubled, tough first game against Ellison Language in their opening match. But they're just so good, aren't they? Now, Takuro Hockey, 23 years old. From Yamaguchi. She'll be up next, incidentally. Well, uh, Akane taking on Tatsu Yin off that career high ranking, these two. 15 in the world. And his partner alongside, Hugo Kobayashi, just a year older at 24. From Miyagi in Japan. Played 18 matches this year. They're 10 and 8 so far. Runners up in the Korean Open semi-finalists in the Malaysia Open and three quarter-final showings as well Singapore Denmark and Japan round of 16 at the All England Open as well look at this yet to concede a game and look who they've taken down two top seeded duos en route here with merciless efficiency everything inside three quarters of an hour so they are on fire enjoying the uh, Istora Stadium Ready conditions. Here is Metzpalu with the traditional Indonesian dress on, as has Eddie Susanto, a service judge opposite. Mopper, wipe the court, please. Wipe the court, please. can't hear you really got to shout to get above the noise here it's quite something when you're on site it is raucous uh, you know like sort of fingers in the ears moments when you walk into the stadium it is deafening but it's fantastic it's compelling it's all consuming brilliant place to watch and play badminton Well, it was three quarters full. I'll tell you what, there's barely a seat to be had right now. Now the two Indonesians Ladies are in the house. Ladies and gentlemen, on my right, Takuro Hoki and Yuga Kobayashi, Japan. And on my left, Muhammad Hassan and Andrea Sekiva, Indonesia. Muhammad Hassan, so. Yuga Kobayashi, Lavo. First of the men's double semi-finals from the bottom half of the draw, Asan and Setiwan taking on Hoki and Kobayashi, Japan. I wonder who won that point. Well, they look so relaxed, the Indonesians, don't they? And by contrast, the Japanese footwork pedaling around, redlining with speed, such as their discipline. Kobayashi, the only left-hander on the court there, having his way with that cross smash. Setiawan perhaps not fully dialed in yet. Quizzical look there from Mohamed Asa.
missed it. Silver, four, three. That's just a little too keen to impress from the off and put doubt into the mind of the Japanese early in this match. Second Japanese pairing to compete against in a row then for the Indonesians, having taken down the fifth seeds, Endo and Watanabe yesterday. Very close affair, 22-20 decider over an hour it took. Wow, they are quick, aren't they, these two? Hockey there, very alert at the net. Well, the 20-somethings are utterly pumped and stoked out here. Every point they're fist-pumping and in these two's faces. Seniority having the last laugh in that point. Over, five, seven. Reading the play so easily. Well, I'm told that Elfian and Ardianto relatively kind of fell apart in game two last night in losing out to the young Japanese duo here. But uh, I'm not surprised. They bring a lot of pressure on the court. So, so super quick and agile. And they, they play in your face badminton, don't they? Really good at dictating the rally and holding on. Ten, five. Well, it's been a sparkling start for them here relishing this Historia Stadium atmosphere. Six, ten. Well, that is their first run of two consecutive points. But it's the two young Japanese that break to the front pretty quickly. Kobayashi and Hoki here. 11-6 at the turn, just five minutes played. Well, these two renowned for their front court prowess. They normally own the stage in that regard, but they've been outdone so far. Can barely get a toehold in here. I made a mistake earlier saying that was the first run of two consecutive points. It wasn't. They've been denied that. Only managing to get slim pickings of one at a time so far. Points, that is, for Asam and Setiawan. Now, a 
is this where they activate? Can they find the pin code? And start rolling for a few points to gain some confidence. Good leave. Service over. 12, 8. Lightning quick, you have to say it. 13, 8. They're just like a blur, aren't they, at the net, these two? Understand now, you get a good uh, indication of how they munched Kimura and Sonoda and Alfian and Ardianto playing like this. They won an all Indonesian men's doubles final, the locals. But at the moment, it doesn't look like we're going to be seeing it. It's just a frenzy of red and white right now. Six-point cushion. Oh, very special. Cool, calm, collected in the front court. That's a wound up. Big opportunity squandered there to really start to entrench themselves in this opener, but instead it goes the other way. Setiawan has come to the party looking to intervene, but Assam couldn't clear the net here. He redlined at that. Not quite in the right position. Just too fast at the moment. Takuro Hoki in the front court has been absolutely spellbinding. Oh, best rally of the match. It came back with the tweener from Hoki. Luckily, these guys were watching it closely. Look at that. Very special. through that's more like it from uh -huh. that's not big your pardon say The U's and R's from the crowd, they gasp again here as another error is teased out from these two men of experience, and that hurts. Oh. Well, it's been unstoppable wave of all-out attack from the Japanese. But there was a rare error from them. They are powerful as well as quick. And these two so far being rushed off the court. been utterly dictated to so far today. Look at Hockey keen to follow up. Really doing a good job these two at taking time and space away from their opponents. And these two, two of the quickest sets of hands and eyes in the game. An established pairing, twice world champions, former world number ones. 
First meeting this. So the Indonesians don't really know what they're walking into. Well, he thought he was out, so he's going to challenge. It's a late challenge. They were sort of dithering around for a while. Crowd in their face. Probably not used to it. There we go, then. Going upstairs for the first time in the match. Impressive, these two. A very bright future in the game, irrespective of what happens here. They're up to that career high ranking of 15 in the world. And they're on an absolute roll. Their confidence sky high after what they've done to get here. They were right. It was out. Correction, out. Service over. 19, 30, play. Service fall, fall, too high. Hockey, hockey. Service over. Oh, I've got to swallow that. 40, it's a bit of pill to swallow. 19. And, uh, move on ahead. Only quarter of an hour played then. Game points for the Japanese. Oh, very high skill level there with the reverse slice from Hendra Setiawan. Longest rally of the match so far. 16, 20. Take that. There's Mohammed Hassan. Look at that. Taking the speed right out. Thank you. No hold, please. Well, two game points have been saved. He is all over First it, isn't he? Takuro Hoki, Takuro Hoki. Kobayashi, and you go 17. Kobayashi from Japan. Rampant from the offing here. Take the opening game, 21 points to 17. 17 minutes played. Thank you. 
Well, the Japanese duo barely put a foot wrong in that opening game. As they have done, according to their results, seemingly all tournament. Crushing Kamura and Sonoda and Alfian and Aldianto, amongst others, in straight games. Yet to concede a game in this tournament. Can you believe it? So the underdogs, the world number 15s, halfway home here for a place in the final. Laden, quick as you like, and generally winning the fight for the net. The Japanese. It's just been next level men's doubles from them. Very rarely do you see these guys buckle like that. Well, they were driving the point. That'll go down as a positive miss. Three, one. Crowd feeding off those kind of points. High octane badminton out here in Historic Stadium. Another compelling rally from both teams. Longest rally of the match at 54 shots. That was standout. A wounder for the Indonesians in losing it, but the Japanese muscle through again. Genuine anxious moments for Hassan and Setiawan here. Opening game, they excelled with their driving and pushing from the mid court. The Japanese. Over. They won't be flicking on the serve, I tell you. Three, four. Kobayashi was like lightning quick up to that. just been buckling hasn't it a blur of Japanese offense there's just been so little chance for Asan and Sejuan to get on the front foot and command the players they so normally do Just as we thought the pace was a little too high for the Indonesians, they bite back.
Arsenal doesn't want to give the crowd anything to antagonise. And, uh, well, a, a generous hand of apology there from the young Japanese. It does make you wonder whether we're witnessing the next generation of badminton players right here. This is Fast and Furious episode 27, isn't it? It's just unbelievable the speed these two youngsters are playing at. Well, normally it's don't mess with Asan and Setuan in the Nine, flat hard game, but they're being outdone time and again here by these Japanese standouts. Another one whistles by Hendra Setuan. You so rarely see that, such is their pedigree, experience. They've seen it all, conquered it all. But today, so far, they're being outgunned by these two. Play. Hungry for another seeded scalp. I think many are just aghast at the Play. level that they're bringing. I really am. It's been astonishing. Power with Play. speed. These two looking a little perplexed right now, Asan and Setiawan. What can they do to counter this? A rare unforced error from them. Now, how good are they as well at front running? Well, so far the tournament suggests very good, having not conceded a game. But we will see against the masterful duo here. Ten, Looking positive, decisive, dismissive of that last return of serve error. That's how to turn defense so into attack. Over. What a fine yeah, example there. And again, as they did in the opening game, it's the Japanese that head to the turn quicker. 11-10 to the good.
Well, at the end of that last point, there was a look of genuine concern in the eyes of Hendra Setiawan. You rarely see that. It's sort of so calm and together normally. But even he looked a little anxious. It's all been the Japanese out here so far. Oh, well done. Old guard against new. Roll reversal for a couple of points. Can they hold on? Oh, they don't need that, do they? Too high. <laughs> That's what the crowd over. think of it. <laughs> they are so partisan, understandably, here in Jakarta. They stand by their team, no matter what. A little bit of a flash photography going on behind. Lady's got a, a flash going in the crowd, and, and Mohamed Hassan is put off by it. Well, they were pre-warned before the day started. No flash photography, no videos. Well, that was sheer act, wasn't it? Just over-pressing, so desperate to... Keep the foot to the floor, Hendra Setiawan there. And try and motor past these two dangerous youngsters from Japan. Good lead by Setiawan. Nervous serve from Kamiyashi. Well, they hoped their opponents might get a little tight, and you do sense that's what's happening. The wall of noise having its way. Or is it? He has been like a sniper at the net, just so aware of whatever's coming, look. And so quick and powerful up there to pounce on anything slightly higher. He's played a brilliant match, indeed they both have. Seventeen. 
Setiawan yields. They're running out of time, the Indonesians. Well turned around. They're being willed on. That was a great turn right here. Got the upper hand. Handcuffed Kobayashi. And then pounced. Seven thousand Jakarta fans willing the Japanese to yield their first game this tournament. Three game points for Asan and Setiawan. Service over. 18, 20. They are gutsy, aren't they? Lasering for the lines down the most dangerous side of the court as well. Kabayashi here, look at this. That's the windy side, finds it. Fearless. Two game points saved, one to go. It's gone. Hang on with a challenge, hold on. Heart in the mouth moment. It is long. We go on, it'll be a deciding game to decide this one. Challenge has successful. One challenge remaining. Hassan and Setuan steal the second game. 21-19. Second game won by Mohammad Hassan and Setiawan. 21-19.
Jakarta fans yearning after more excitement. Deciding game just about to get underway then in this first men's double semi-final from the bottom half of the draw. team to take a game off the Japanese all tournament. And that kind of is a little microcosm Three, of what's been happening. Two. You're just waiting to see the essence of Asan and Satiwan, you know, being so quick around the net, but they've had to sort of buckle under the might of the young Japanese who had just been that little bit extra potent with all that they do. Super alert to the change of direction from the Japanese there was Mohamed Hassan. Just stuck out a tentacle and swatted that one away. the turn of the twice world champions to get on the front foot now then how will these two respond getting on a roll four in a row for the men of experience. Stops there though. Four, six. Both teams serving up a treat here. Super cross now from the Japanese. Five, seven. Kobayashi very quick to get onto that. Oh, it's gone. Six, seven. Oh. 
Well, it's got to be one of the toughest asks in badminton, hasn't it, to come here for the Japanese and turn over a team of these two stature in their living room. Didn't quite wriggle over, it thought about it. Half the shuttle's uh, feathers were over. Almost half, anyway. <laughs> Fully guarded, but on the front foot a lot more often now. And set you one. Managing to find Nine, seven. the floor. For the first time, the Indonesians are ahead at the mid-game interval. And it's all important in game three. 11-7, they lead. After 46 minutes played out here on one. Will these two experienced men in black find their way home? They've broken to the front. Can they keep the lead? Oh dear. Service over. Eight, eleven. Well, it's been smashing very crisply throughout, and it didn't miss by much. It was a high-risk shot, though, to the windy side of the court. Who's and ours throughout at this point? Great Japanese defense. Absolutely stunning. Ten, How visionary 12. was that from Takuro Hoki? After a long, grueling point, they've been under the cost throughout, and then eventually he just closes down the space. Very creative. Look at this. See it again. Wow. Lead 
is dissipating for the Indonesians. Three in a row for the youngsters from Japan. Well, he might be wriggling around in his bed tonight. You go, Kobayashi, after that miss. He's played that side a lot. It's been very high tariff. Casino badminton, he's trying to beat the house. These two are guarded. 13, They're watching the left side 11. of the, car, the court far more, knowing how dangerous it is over there with the, with the drift for their opponents. Silver. Well, 15. after missing that, you can understand why. Setiawan did so well there just to keep it tight, trying to get it below the height of the net. Did well. And his opposing number fell for the bait. Over. 30, 40. Terrific character shown by the young 20-year-olds. 23 and 24-year-olds, I should say, to be correct. 14 all. Well, what's not to love about this? Compelling from the off. Deadlock in this third game. We're seeing that look on a regular basis now, aren't we? Kobayashi with the sort of wins. Well, the Japanese 16, fought so valiantly 14. from 8-12 down to get back to parity, but now again the Indonesian tank is pulling away. The shots that they were making for fun 17, in the opening game 14. suddenly evade them. The Indonesians have weathered the storm. But we've seen a couple of those service faults from Hendra, Hendra Setiawan. His man will stand by him, there's no doubting that. They go through thick and thin together, these two. Stalwarts under pressure.
Many fans jumping for joy 19. because their men have turned this around gallantly. It's been a phenomenal match, very high tempo. Two points away now. Keeping the scoreboard pressure on the 20. young Japanese. Just going for a quick towel down after this. That is experience from Hassan and Setiawan. Another two match points. Okay. Utter relief on their faces in a match of lightning quick exchanges. Mohamed Hassan and Henry Setiawan as the fourth seeds, the former world number ones, found a way on what was a very difficult day. We've seen the emergence of some shining stars from Japan today in the name of Hockey and Kobayashi. But they were denied by the twice world champions who looked just so happy to find a way through. We were royally treated to a terrific men's doubles first semi-final there. But these two found a way through in 56 minutes, 57 minutes of something very, very special. <laughs> they are so relieved, aren't they? Their time will come, the youngsters from Japan. They're only 23, 24 years old, respectively. Confirmation of the scoreline, Mohamed Hassan and Hendra Setiwan through 